Well, hey guys, today we're shifting our focus over from scale victories to non-scale victories. So many of us, we may have started this journey with the thought, I want to just lose 10 pounds, 20 pounds, 50 pounds, 60 pounds, you know, whatever that magic number was that was in our head, that's what we had in our mind. And so we fell into the old trap of just stepping on the scale and watching the numbers and wanting to see them decrease. But what can happen is if you focus on that too much, you start to miss out on the bigger picture. And in all honesty, that scale is really just a very small blip in the real big picture of what you're accomplishing with this new lifestyle. So your non-scale victories are going to be anything that you are able to celebrate any life improvements across the board in every area of your life. So this can be visible, this can be endurance, this can be activities that you weren't able to do before, but now you are. So for example, um, whenever I first started uh, losing weight, one of the very first places that my husband said he could see was in my face. All of this here started to thin out and um, my cheeks were no longer as full. You know, I just started to look different. My One of my friends actually told me that too. Um, yes, you're going to start seeing maybe some more definition in certain, you know, your shoulders, your arms, or maybe your legs. First for you, everybody is different. Um, the way your clothes feel when you put on your pants, you know, one of the greatest things for me was whenever I started to have a little extra material, um, not sometimes around the waist or, or where the, the mama pooch is, but also like that little under where the, where the, the tushy kind of curves under that there was a little extra space under there where my thighs were starting to shrink and my, my tush was starting to tighten up and lift. And that was huge. Um, another thing for um, how, you know, body changes that was non-scale for me, you know, I've never been a big chested woman, you know, I, I just never have had that problem or blessing, it depends on how you look at it. So what happened for me was one of the changes that I noticed right was whenever my mommy pooch did start to go down, that now because I, you know, I have a small chest, when I would look down, I would no longer see my belly pooch first. I would see my chest first. And it, my pooch was no longer poking out, you know, for, further or in bet where I could see it in between, right? Is that TMI? So the other thing, um, another one would be, you know, going to church. We have theater seating in our church, so I notice a difference in how I'm able to get in and out of, um, you know, to get two seats whenever we're very full. And um, other activities could be, you know, are you able to run with your kids and, you, you, you know, are you able to do a certain move like burpees or something and that you weren't able to do before? Um, for me, there's been plenty of those along the way. Um, when I first started with uh, Pio, main reason I chose Pio first was because I wasn't yet able to lift weights. And um, because of some other issues I was having on the right side of my body from my back, my neck, my shoulder and all, I just wasn't physically there yet. I had to build my strength up. So there were certain strength gains that were mile markers for me. Um, holding plank was a mile marker for me. I wasn't previously able to do that very successfully and um, for any extended amount of time without major pain. So I was... Um, that was that was a huge accomplishment for me. So start to think about these things that are non-scale victories for you. And I would love to hear that you share them with the group. I'm, I'm thinking now um, another one would be eating, just eating, just the fact that maybe you now crave fruit and vegetables or you are, you know, reaching for the healthier choices before the non-healthy choices. Maybe the fact that you've been soda-free for, I don't know, you know, a month or six months or a year for the first time in your life, maybe. Uh, maybe it's the first time you've gone more than a week without pizza, you know? I mean, I eat pizza like the next girl, but I definitely try to space it out. Um, 
And maybe you're drinking more water and you're not no longer craving the sodas and the sugary drinks. You know, maybe you've switched from sweet to unsweet. And just knowing that you're fueling your body better and you're feeling better. How you feel is a huge non-scale victory. How you're thinking is a huge non-scale victory. Stop if you you know stop it for a minute and Pay attention to the thoughts that are going through your mind and you might notice that some of your thought patterns have improved as you've started exercising and feeding yourself um, better. Your body's able to function better. Your mood is lifted. You, your perception, um, your perspective and, and is shifted perhaps or improved or, or just you know, you're just in a better mood most days. So start to think about these things. And I'd love to hear you share those with the group whenever they happen. It doesn't have to just be today. Every time you notice a non-scale victory, we want to celebrate them with you. So go ahead, tell us, what are they?